everyone and welcome back to Uncensored. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. What's up with you? <laughs> you, you just <laughs> laid back that load of shit, man. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. <laughs> I was just chilling, man. All else to do is that. Just no chilling. Exactly. So how is everyone? How is everyone today? Good. We're all good. Sorry, John, what you said about that? You, you cut out a bit. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> wow. He broke his been punished by my parents. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, we all got to do shit like that. We all get done, but... Anyway, so, I've wanted to do Uncensored today because I've been seeing something that's going off, and I want your take on it, everyone's take on it, oh, right, yeah. Gary mm. Lineker. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> I haven't been watching the news, but I haven't been watching anything about news or anything else. You don't know who Gary Lineker is? Who's for match up for day? Oh, that guy, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that I'm good with faces, not names. I'm good with faces, not names. You show me a face, well, I know that he doesn't know his name, though. I, I can't believe you. Yeah, I'm... Kieran, I don't follow football, but everyone knows who Gary Lineker is. Ah, uh, the Walkers, man. Yeah, the Walkers, man. Yeah, fair enough, then. We'll go for the Walkers, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I even bother? I swear to God. <laughs> oh. Seriously. But anyway, go long story short, he's not on Match of Day anymore for something he tweeted. Mm. What did he tweet? I, I, I've heard, and now you talk about it, didn't, something was kicking off a bind, but I didn't really pay attention. I just thought, uh, just, kept, just kept on swiping past him. What did he say? Well, the UK government is coming up with sending illegal migrants back to, like, well, sending them like, back to France um, and where they come from. And he said that um, what we're doing to, like, you know, you know, illegal migrants is like what Germany did when in the World War uh, in World War Two. What killing them basically? Well. Basically, yeah, just not looking after him and that lot. You know when you know when we should. You don't want any, You don't want him to come over here because. No, he. he no, no, he say, no, he's saying. No, he's saying we should allow them all in. That's what I'm saying. He put that on like on Twitter, yeah. and everyone kicked off mentally. And I'm trying to see the bad point. Everyone. Is entitled to freedom of speech, and obviously, it's all kicked off. Right then. I'm just saying. Do you do you two like believe that he should have had freedom of speech? Yeah. Like, like do you, I to mean, be honest, uh, if your country is in, if your country is like, say. Like for the instance in Ukraine, if you're getting, if your house is getting blown up or your country's at war, and there's a other country saying we'll look after you until your country's stopped all this war and stopped everything, then I'd I'd like to think someone would do the same for us. Well, exactly, <clears throat> but he's not on about them. He's on about people who are coming from countries that are not at war and they need like our help and that lot. You know, that's what the whole thing is about. You know, he's saying that even though like some countries aren't at war, we should help him. And obviously, he's and got. That, and how is that a bad thing? <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, well, obviously. I was, you about that. I was helping her. Understandable if someone, if you, if your country's at war, and they're like, "Oh, I want to come over to your country, live in your country for how many years? You know, for so long until." I'm safe to go back to my own country, then fair enough, I'd say, yeah, you know, that'd be a different story. You'd be like, yeah, come over, but if your country's not at war and you still want to help, I'm trying to see the bad part of that myself. 
Exactly, and that's what he was saying. He was he was saying we should help people out, and obviously the government are on about sending, you know, like people who aren't are not allowed here. Um, the you know the government is sending them back, and he's saying what the government are doing is like literally not looking after anyone and only caring about themselves. Well, a lot of people I've been seeing on uh, on uh, TikTok saying that mostly about the um, World War veterans, saying that this country's gone down the drain. This 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 generation's not what we wanted to save. We wanted to save the old generation. Every, you know, the country's going to hell. So people are just think people are just having these little brainstorms, thinking, "Oh, yeah, this is a good idea." But some ideas are not meant to be spoken. Yeah, I mean, I some do... ideas are meant to be kept in there and never see the light of day. I do believe that everyone should have the freedom of speech. I do. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But some ideas, when you, when you say to someone, "Oh, we'll give you freedom of speech," some people should just keep their mouth shut. Thing is, though, some people, and this is what a lot of people don't get. There, di- there's a difference between. Freedom of speech and um, hate speech, there's a difference. Well, people don't see that, though. They just think, oh, he's being truthful. He must he must be uh, doing hate speech. Yeah, exactly. What is wrong with my internet? Because I'm watching the stream now and I can't see nothing. Right? Everyone's saying it's lagging in that lot. It's not lagging yeah, at my so, end. Should I, should I help these people out to get better internet? Or it might get, <laughs> might get so well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see nothing wrong. Keeps buffering. Well, my internet's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching it. I'm watching it on other on my other device, and I'm not seeing anything. I've got, I've got it muted, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Echo, but, but I'm just watching it now. And there's nothing. No, nothing wrong. Right. Hang on, I'm gonna actually go on your channel. I'm actually on the PlayStation now. I'm gonna actually go on your channel. And I'm gonna see if it is actually buffering. I get to watch it on the big screen. I don't remember that. Yeah, see if it is lagging, because I can't see it lagging at all. It comes under saying your name is Lee, it's cool, even though it's Big Man Lee, isn't it? Oh, that's just YouTube, that being a pain. I don't know why, he says it's Big Lee, but then it just comes up most recommended as Lee, is cool one. <laughs> your uh, old identity is still up there. But, like I said... Right, we'll now. Yeah, sure, tell us what it's like. Uh, Right, listen. And obviously, it's all picked up. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Exactly, it's just part of people. Not, I've, just, I've, just, I've just had to unmute a bit on me. Play, on yeah. the, um, there's nothing wrong with it. Giving someone culture just, sex here. Thank you very much. <laughs> but anyway... So 50 pounds on my PayPal and we'll see what magic can happen. <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> Oh, why did I even hear that come out? I know, okay, I would get some <laughs> But, anyway, back to what I was saying. I I do believe that, you know, we need to help, like, countries out that are at war and stuff like that, because it's just like, you know, you know, people would help us out. Like, when we had to take, like, Ukrainians and, you know, if they had family, all well and good on that lot. But... Yeah. It gets to the um, like stage where the government is saying people who aren't allowed to be here are here. How do you know they're not allowed to be here? If they've got every it only well, only thing I've been hearing, which I heard someone mention it on uh, TikTok, so I was just scrolling through it, and I, and someone said this was like like a couple of months back now. Mm. Um, if they've got a criminal record. Or anything wrong, like anything that they shouldn't have, because in certain countries you have to have a clean record. You're yeah. not supposed to. Certain countries you're not allowed to go in if you've been in prison before for major crimes or, you know, big crimes or small crimes. You're not allowed to go in regardless. Yeah. Someone was saying, well, we shouldn't let people in who have a criminal record in their own country, because they'll just come over. A lot of people think the prison system in this country is like a vacation, which I wouldn't know that. Mm. I wouldn't know that myself, but a lot of people think, oh, they'll come over here because they don't speak English. They'll get a slap on wrist, probably get a few months behind bars, and then they'll get and then they'll go out again and do it all again. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. a lot of people are saying they shouldn't be they shouldn't allow to come on a lot because I don't know if it's true or not, but they're saying even if you have got a criminal record, come over to this country, they'll let you come in anyway. Australia don't let you go in there. Mm, that's what we're Australia that's what I literally you have, be, you have to have a clean seat to win to Australia. I no, I don't think we should give every, everyone a, a a chance, you know. And if they do come over here and break the law, like in other other countries, it would, you know, you would be like deporting and that lot. And I do think that probably should happen here. Allow what about ev- the new law? What about the new law that another country's done? If you go on, I think I don't know where it is now. I can't remember where it is now. Um, but if you are seen holding your girlfriend or wife's hand or kissing her or that, you get locked up because they don't believe in that country you should express your affections. What, in relationships? Yeah, so if you're walking down the street holding your girlfriend or wife, boyfriend's hand, whatever, and you give them a kiss or anything that's classed as sexual contact or, or or anything like that, even just simple kissing them on lips or whatever, they're like, oh, no, no, you're not allowed that. You're not allowed that. You get locked up and that. It's like, what, what's going on here? What the hell? I don't, I don't know which country it is, but it is. A, but it, it actually, it was, I think it was where, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's where Jake Paul and Tommy Fury had their fight. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you mean like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. Um, gay relationships and that like? Uh, no, 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 just any, any. If you, like, just say you went there, and you was walking down the street, and you was holding just a, I don't know, your girlfriend's hand or whatever, walking down there, they see you, they go, oh, oh no, no, no. Okay, now. They're actually locked you up on the floor. That's mental. I can't remember what country it's called now, but it is actually a, a real law that they've actually made out, so that's one country I'm never going to. So I'm what, never John? going to that country. So what, John? Is the cell phone way Yeah. Yeah, that were it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where Tommy and um, Jake Paul had a fight. I think it's I think it's that country where you can't show any affection towards your towards your partner, even if you're a boy, girl, married, whatever. You have to walk down the street <laughs> like your best mate. Uh, just walk down the street, not holding no hand, no no. That's it, it's Qatar. My dad told me about that, and you can. Like, have a relationship with your partners. It's yeah, good you, you can walk down to, you can walk out, you can go out with them and walk down the street like you and not touch, like not touching them. But as soon as they mm-hmm. see you doing anything that you're not allowed to do in their country, it's a simple mm-hmm. Well, anyway, back onto the topic we were actually on about. Um, mm-hmm. um Gary Lineker has um, stepped down from Match of the Day. Now, do does anyone believe, like any of you, for anyone in the chat, believe he should go, like get sacked from the BBC for what he said? Uh, yeah, I'd give him one more chance. Say again, John. If it were me, I would give him one more last chance. Um, my opinion is no. I don't think he should. Well, I, I don't I don't think he should well, because yeah. no because thing is though everyone is entitled to their you know their their own opinion so I don't actually believe he should he just literally voiced his opinion yes I know he works for the BBC yes I know you know the BBC is a big thing but mm-hmm. I just don't think he should lose like just you lose his um, job or get well get sacked from the BBC just because he said what he thought. If anyone else said it like any of us who are like nobody, you know, yeah. no, you know, we won't, you know, we won't, you know, you know, nothing. Had, well, we would get like slagged off and that lot, but it won't be kicking a big outrage just be a case of oh, you heard what some two bit YouTuber said, uh, fuck them, you know, that's what I mean. The, you know, no, no, it would happen, but just because he works on the BBC, um. He's like, oh, you know, people saying he should be sacked. What? Just because he said what he said. And I, I just don't if, think. If you, to be honest, I'm not hearing anything bad what he said. Yeah, he just, he just literally gave his opinion. 
Yeah, if he's, if he's, if he if he'd said something about their race, then that'd be a different story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If he said we don't want certain coloured people coming to this country, blah blah blah, then that would be something to say. Hang on, yeah, I do believe then he should then he should literally lose his yeah. job. But if he's just saying, if he's just saying something like that, then we should help. We should help them. Even if they're at war or not, then... He wouldn't say we should help them. He's just saying what this country is doing is like Germany in the 19... um, Whatever it were. You know, say... Just like literally... And obviously we know like Germany in like the World War Two era was, you know, not a nice place to be. So... Obviously, yeah. So obviously... Some people still got got a touchy touchy subject about that though. Because look at... What happened a few years ago on um, Britain's Got Talent? I, just, I come downstairs, Britain's Got Talent on TV, I watched it. Went, Where are you from? Germany. Everyone in the crowd went, boo, booed him. Everyone went, yes, we know what happened, but it's a different generation now. Well, that's what I'm saying, it's a different generation. We don't. People keep going on about the past. Mm. The past is not our concern. You know, and, and it's literally. It's just literally absolutely rubbish. What? Well, yes, the I understand. In the exactly. The the exactly, and I, I do literally, I, and I keep coming back to, it, but I do believe he should have had his own. You know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I mean, I'm seeing the comments. You know, they're slagging us all off. You know, that's their opinions. You know, everyone is entitled to their own opinions. But obviously, just because. You know, he's a well-known person, and he's on one of the biggest, you know, like, TV channels in the United Kingdom. Everyone's going, oh, he shouldn't say that. Oh, he should say that. Why? Why isn't he allowed to have, you know, his freedom of speech when everyone else is allowed their freedom of speech? That's what, like... This, that's what, like, the war, not just the war, but that's what, like, our soldiers fought for. Freedom of speech so we can do what we want and say what we want. It. And nowadays, we just can't because we're, oh, we might offend someone. You know, and I'm just thinking, everyone has their own opinion. But then that's when you go back to freedom of speech again. You have your own opinion, they'll think you're hating on them. That's what I'm saying. So in certain arguments, it's best to, you know, certain way, certain arguments, yeah, you will say something and you will, you know, it's your choice to say something. But most of the time, it's best to just, not everything, not everything needs a reaction. So True. sometimes it's best to keep your mouth shut, observe what they're saying. If you need to stand up for it, if, like just say, you say something and someone disagreeing with you and you're making a big song and dance and you're near enough getting your head kicked in, that's when you stand up and say, hang on a minute, tone it down at like, you know, take a step back. Yeah. But that's just keep your mouth shut. You know, don't let anything, don't let any bullets come flying your way. As long as no one comes your way, you can go home happy. What do you think, John? Because you've been like pretty quiet. What do you think, right? Just say, like, you were the big boss of BBC, you saw mm-hmm. what he tweeted, um, what would you say? Like, if it were down to you, if the people said, what do you believe? Do you think he should be sacked from the BBC or just be, like, have a, like, well, just, like, let you get off like not happened? Um, I would say, I guess, sack him for what he did. So you think he should be sacked? Yeah. Okay, then. Now, I just, I don't know. I mean, obviously, being in last is the social media eye, you do need to be careful with what you say. But mm-hmm. if, like, if the BBC does want to, um, like, you know, like, have a word with him, like, just like have a word with him just say just be careful what you say you know you're representing us same same with like youtube if we say it on youtube you know we can get like done you know youtube says oh, yeah. whatever, whatever whatever video you post you're representing youtube you know we're not allowing this on our system they'll tell us off you know same with like that. that facebook yeah they'll take it down and that's yeah. what you know 
you know, I think he should have latch like be like, look, you're representing us, just be careful with what you say and like go on like that. Losing his job, I don't think he should. I think like he should be given a chance. You know, just be like, look, what he said, you know, people who work for the BBC, sh you know, shouldn't have their own opinion, which I think is really stupid. But, you know, if that is the case, then that is the case. But, I, I, I don't know. I literally think all this is being blown out of proportion just because he's a big, well, you know, he's well known. He's well known. If you're well known and people don't like what, and people, you know, don't like you, yeah, fair enough. Like you said, you can put whatever you want on there as long as it's in a certain, as long as it's not too much. But they'll just say, like, oh, they don't like him. And they'll have read that and took it the wrong way, and they'll have got off fouls and other people who don't like him as well to report it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just, I just literally think, you know, BBC and Gary just need to sit down and just have it out, and then that's it. I mean, obviously, I've never watched much of the day, you know, I really couldn't give two flying, you know, about. I, I didn't really watch it. Well, exactly, so people do watch it, and he's not just famous for, you know, match of day, you know, he's, you know, you know, football or done some advert about eating a freaking pack of crisps, what the hell, you know. But you know what I mean. <laughs> but you know what I mean, though. He's done a lot yeah. of things, so I don't think he should just be gone for something he said. I mean, there's loads of people out, here, you know, that will have literally, you know, like you said, Kieran, just took it the wrong way. I mean, to be honest, and I'm gonna—I know this is like kind of changing the subject, but it's kind of mentioning the same thing as well. But there is groups out there. Where as soon as one famous person, or as soon as one person gets to a certain level of fame, and they get well known, like being on TV, or being on YouTube, or Twitch, whatever, yeah. they have these little groups, and it's all focused on trying to find something to make that person seem like he's a bad guy. Exactly. And I know, speaking from experience, because I actually got a comment a few, what now? Written. So I think about just that, just last year before Christmas, mm. um, I got a mm. I got a comment saying, "Kieran, do you know there's a group that are trying that are full of haters about you and the SC boys?" And I went, "I was put back. Are you <laughs> one of them?" They went, "No, but I know one of my friends with them. I went, well, friends come and contact me directly." With them. Exactly. You know, they're all like oh, yeah. exactly. So, yeah. There's always people so out there that. As soon as you do something or say something, that's when they'll come out. That's when they'll come out the shadows and they'll go, "Oh, Kieran's uploaded a video about I don't know, I don't know, someone getting shot with a BB gun. That's violence. Let's report it." I mean, look what, look what happened to um, Markiplier. Mm. He uploaded mm. a track last video, and his video got done for sexual content and something else, violence and sexual content. He couldn't show the clip on YouTube, but he said, go over to the link, and this is the link, this is the video clip out that got took down. So I went over to the link, clicked on it. It was not even anything to do. The claim that he got took, that he got took down for, there was nothing wrong with the video. There was no sexual things or anything wrong with that clip. It's just exactly. people that don't like a certain person or certain people, and they'll just report your video for anything until something sticks, and that's when that's when they get the ball rolling. Exactly, exactly. So I know, and I know that because a lot of people have tried you know, reporting mine, reporting exactly. my, even reporting some of my uh, zombie hunters and that. Well, even reported some psychopaths. This is too violent. This shouldn't be on YouTube. Yeah. If you report it that bad, they take it down. But. That was it's like you said, Kieran, you, whatever you, as soon as you're in like the social media eye kind of thing, you know, 
where if you're on TV or YouTube, whatever you do, you're going to get slagged off. It's just a well-known fact. You get slagged even off. Not, even if you're not on TV, you get slagged off. Well, exactly. And I mean, obviously, like, you know, we get, you know, I've got, I have get a lot of hate. It don't fucking bother me. It's just like, well, that, well, that's your opinion. Cool. Oh. No, none, none of us, none of us were on YouTube when we were at school. Probably we did the odd video when we were at school, the odd few times. But well, we got more hate in school. Nothing about YouTube. So you get you get hate no matter what you do. Even if yeah. you're on, even if you're on the internet or not, you still get hate. You could go to work. Your boss might look at you mm-hmm. and think, oh, "I just don't like him in general." Exactly. You know, so there's hate no matter whatever you do, you know, and I do literally think it's just people who, are, you know, are all like, oh, he shouldn't do this, he should lose his life, uh, no, he shouldn't, just because he literally sport. This is what, I'm watching, like, this kind of, like, news thing, and it said, this country has lost its backbone because we all are scared to say what we really want. Oh, yeah. You know... It, I'll, I'll tell you this, sure, it was Talk TV, someone on Talk TV said this country is scared to say what they say because they don't want to offend anyone else. And I do literally think it's true, you're so scared. Like, if I said, for instance, or, um, I don't know, cancel match of the day, Jesus Christ, I'd get like people, going, how can you do this, how can you do that, how can you say that, just because it's my, my opinion. You know, it's like, I I got I was watching some on uh, I watched on t- on um, YouTube and it said um, about obviously speaking the mind and it, and the and the title of the video was called um, things they should cancel about driving you know like learn to many people learn to drive and one person said or the person on the video said they should cancel the theory test because the theory test is just giving you like showing you what hazards you can have in the road and, yep. the, and the person and the person actually had to do a video a couple of months a couple of months after apologizing saying that he'll take the video down because everyone said to him or oh, if they got rid of the theory then the um the five-year-olds uh, drive it should be hard for people to learn to drive um i do believe that this should actually you know, they, you know, they shouldn't cancel, like, the fear of, you know, if I, if it were me, I think they should put more stuff in. Yeah. You know, because they just tell you, you know, like, if you have an accident, what are they going to do? You know, they, you know, they don't tell you all this stuff you can. Yeah, like, if you, most people will just hit your car and then they'll drive off. Yeah, exactly, and people don't know yeah. what to do in that situation. It's like, oh, I'll contact me and shoot you, but you don't know it yet. True. And then you've got, and then that's when people get dash cams. Then. <laughs> True, yeah. Someone, someone hit my next door neighbour's car when we had that. Not the snow, not the snow we've just had. The snow we had last time around Christmas, before, just after Christmas or before Christmas. By then, so the neighbor, next door neighbour parked his car on the dry, on the top of his drive. Car obviously skidded. We had a big, we had a uh, like bang outside. Looked outside next to a car driving off. Because it was dark, couldn't see his registration. Exactly. So, next time he ever come out, trying to get a good clip of his thing, but when he got his phone out, trying to take a photo of his uh, his red plate, because he was driving off so fast, he didn't, his camera didn't have time to focus on it. Exactly. So, obviously, he, he couldn't get it done, because he thought, what's the point, I'm not going to... I could phone the insurance, I could phone the police up. So. Even though I've got a uh, camera in me out to see anyone coming down the path, it's not going to identify the car, is it? True, true. Mm-hmm. And that copper can look at a, 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 car, a car door and go, yeah, that's a Ferrari, we know what, we know what that looks like. Exactly. So, we are, we're, we're out the red, you don't know where the old car is. So, last, so, last the so last thing on this, right, because I've got another topic that we talk about that nearly everyone users um so jonathan your final opinion do you think he should be sacked from the bbc or just like carry on and just have a telling off or not a telling off or whatever i would say uh sack him or tell him in me 
Okay, okay, okay. So, what about you, Kim? What do you think? Do you think... Well, what do you think happens? Do you think he should just literally... Just... Uh, what, like, do you think... Do you think what he said is wrong? And do you think he should be, like, you know, keep from the BBC? Or do you think it's just a case of, you know, he's got his opinion of the freedom of speech? <laughs> Um, well, to be honest, what you, the things you've just said about him, what he's said, because like I said, I didn't really, I've only heard bits about him, but I haven't really, I've seen things about him on, on YouTube, I haven't gone, I haven't watched them. I've just seen his face pop up around the internet, so I haven't really watched anything about him, apart from hearing a few things about what you've just been talking about. But to be honest, what the, the things you've been pointing out and saying that what he's said in that lot i'm not hearing no bad thing about it yeah it's just he's not, he's not, he's not mm -hmm. slagging a certain race off he's not slagging a certain gender off he's not basically telling them being nasty and that lot in you know what I've, the thing that i've actually heard so i think you should just say right you've written that people have took offense to it yeah it's probably a bit stupid but just don't write out again just don't put anything like that think before you actually write something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in my opinion, even though a lot of people might be saying, oh, Kieran doesn't know what he's on about, he hasn't been watching him, just give him a warning. Yeah. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if, if you're going to sack him, and, and if he hasn't done anything wrong, you're just gonna, it's like people getting locked up for being for being innocent, really. Yeah, yeah. Which so you may as well just give him happen. a warning. Give him a warning. Just think about what you're going to write next time, or try not to write anything that'll make people do this same reaction again. Yeah. Okay. Right. And the other topic is WhatsApp could be banned in the UK. Yeah, I've heard a lot about that as well. Yeah, I heard a lot about that as well. Now. Do you not now, I don't see why it should be banned in the UK, just because no one can see what you're putting on there. <laughs> well, it's like when you're on the phone. We have our own privacy on the phone. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. But the government are like, oh, no, we need to, like, you know, you, you can't have that. Why not? Why? Do you want to see what we're talking about? Go on, my chat. It's just me slagging off people, and the you know the government, Rishuna, yeah, you know, you can see all that, mate. I'll send you a, I'll send you screenshots of what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, literally, it's just like, ah, you know, you know, uh, you know, Kieran, you are right now. Oh, listen, man, you know the government, for, and I'm just like, ah. you know, <laughs> then, it's like, and that was a long conversation. Me and Kieran just slagging off the government. Well, we can we can slag someone off for, but for that, we, I think we I think we get if someone's done something bad and he's and he deserves to be slagged off. I think me and Lee could slag that person off for call it about two three hours. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, we happy. I've, I've been hearing a lot about Charles Bronson, to be honest. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah, Charles, I don't know if he's been let out. I don't know. I'm trying to find out if he's been let out. He, plead, he pleaded to be let out, but the things he said, I don't think he'll be seeing the light of day anytime soon. Fair <laughs> enough. But anyway. He sat, in the, he sat again, like the people about, like in front of him, they look at him and they know for a fact they're not going to let him out, even though he's seven children year old. Mm. They're not going to let him out because he's supposed to be a danger. What kind of 70-year-old man is going to go around robbing a shop? Mm. Oh, yeah. No, he even <laughs> said on his on his interview he couldn't even help taking hostage when he was younger. Mm. Because mm. he was an hard nut and he was fighting anyone that, that tried to prove against him, obviously police would come and hit him because they think, oh, he's a violent man, he'll have started it. He had to take hostages to, 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 to like have a protest type thing. Yeah. And yeah. Then obviously, I mean, he said he said in front of the, bo like the board people and that lot, who have these meetings to see if he's going to get set free or not, he said, would you do it all again? He went, probably wouldn't do it again, but I do regret some things I have done, because first time I got out of jail, I robbed a post office with a sawn off shotgun. <laughs> it's enough, a very good so. way to take your time out of jail, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's good. <laughs> so, in the, in the, in the block, they locked him up because he couldn't behave himself. He just kept causing riots. He was on the roof of 
Um, Broadmoor, where, where, he was, where he was helped, yeah, the mental asylum Broadmoor, mm. you know, on the roof, giving all this and that. Mm. He's just never calmed down, but he wants to be let go. He, like you said, if he gets out, it'll take him six weeks to visit everyone who's died before him in the, in the gra- in graves, uh, graveyards. Wow. Because his mum will have obviously died probably now. He says, obviously, his parents will have gone. His friends will have gone. He says he wants to visit all of them because even though, which I think is wrong, I don't know if it's true or not, but when some of his close family members died, they didn't let him out of prison. They went, tough, you're in prison. You know, when, when you die, you'll see him on the other side. Mm-hmm. But when the crazy one broke, they got let out to see their mum die. And, that, and, then, and then when one twin died before the other, they got let out to repay their respects, even though they were handcuffed to a, a, a guard. Well, yeah. But anyway, so, going back uh, onto the subject we were on about, which we keep going off of, <laughs> do, you, do you think WhatsApp should be banned just because you can't see what, you know, what people are saying? No, I wouldn't say they're not going to ban it. They just leave it on for other people and to chat. With other cities and other country. Yeah. I've been. I've been. Whoa, whoa, whoa! One at a time. Jonathan, you was first, so you carry on. Um, since uh, Nottingham Transit Express birthday today, I send a message to say, "Happy birthday, Nottingham Transit Express Transit," and they say, "Thank you." Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I, I, I just don't. I, I, I think it's just the government chucking their weight around. I mean, I know they go, oh, it's all security and all that lot, but you know, I just don't see why they should. Just because, I mean, is it costing the government anything? No. Is no. is it a danger to society? They could argue, people could argue yes or no, but it's not really. It's just, you you know, I just... <sighs> Being honest, it's just a lot of shit. It's just the government chucking the way around, thinking that they know best. When it comes down to it, why does... It, you know, why, why, why should the government be able to see what we put? Mm-hmm. It, it can't. It, it, I mean, we don't see what the government put. You know, it's a case of if you want us to see what we put on WhatsApp, why don't you show us what you put then to your cabinet ministers then? Why not? Oh, we can't do that. Well, why not? You want to see what we see? Why can't we see what you see? You know, obviously, you know, I'm not saying like we see like what their plans are and that lot, but you know, why not literally do something like that to a stream? But oh no, no, you're, if you're the government, you can do what you want, say what you want. You know, we all know you can do what you want from when boys were in power partying while they were locked down. I think everyone had a party at the sense, to be honest. I didn't. Everyone did. Some people around my area did. I, I, were, I were in my bedroom just looking out the window. Next minute, you know, four or five houses started getting lit up and the people coming around not straight. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> I just don't, I just literally think, you know, all this crap about saying, oh, you know, what, I mean, it's, it's not, not, nothing's actually happening yet, it's not saying it is going to be banned, but a lot of people are saying, you know, well, you know, it, that there is a room that it could be, and I'm just like, what, just because you can't see what, you know, you know, just because you can't see what people are putting, you know, even WhatsApp can't see what you're putting. And I think that's literally a good thing. Mm. But, you know, obviously, people, you know, like all of them in this chat, you know, want to know everything about everyone because their lives are so boring. It's, you know, that's why. It's so like, so like saying to the neighbor with TikTok, they said, oh, they're going to ban TikTok in America. And then, if it, and, then when half, and then when it's all banned in America and no one can use it, they're going to ban it all over the world. Why America, Why would you ban TikTok? Fair enough, yeah, you post stuff on there that's not meant for TikTok, but you don't, that doesn't mean you have to ban it. Just take the account down or take exactly. the video down. I mean, I did, I did a challenge on there on TikTok about how many times you could tap the screen within a certain time. 
I got done for community guidelines, too violent. How is it too violent me tapping my screen? <laughs> so I had to appeal it and say, all oh, I'm doing is that. Tapping my screen. It's not like I'm punching someone's face. <laughs> and then, 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 then the video um, got put back up there. I was like, well, what's the point? Exactly. Or if I was a girl with, with big things, you know, big things here, you wouldn't be, wouldn't be doing that, would you? Oh, trust me, man. Don't even get me started on that, because literally, I will get some reports if you start. You know what? F it, let's do it. Right, why is it... No, seriously, now I'm going to get into it. Why is it half the women saying, I don't want to be called a woman, I want to be called a person? What the hell? Right, you can't be called a mother, you've got to be called a birth, pair, a birth person. What? the hell is this country coming to? I want to be a birth parent. You're a mother. Get a grip. Oh, no, I'm a birth person. Oh, it's so stupid. Why? Why? Just why? <laughs> right, and another thing that I've seen people come up to, why can't hardly any of the MPs say what a woman is? You are. You, no, I am not now. I am being honest. You ask the leader of the Labour what a woman is, he will not ask. You ask Nicola Sturgeon, or whatever her bloody name is, who was leader of Scottish MP, what a woman is. Not a an answer. It's only Rush who actually said what it was. Why can't no one answer that? Why? What? Seriously? Why? But it's not like what Sam Smith said. He didn't want to be called a man. He wants to be called a... He said, oh... What do you like doing when you're not, right, when you're not creating um, songs? He goes, oh, I like to be um, a go fishing. He goes, oh, you're a fisherman. Then he goes, no, I'm a fisher then. <laughs> exactly. What is wrong? <laughs> why Why is it so literally hard to literally... Oh, it, it, what, trust me, it, it, it winds me up when people go, oh, I don't want to be known as anything. No, you've <laughs> got to be known as something. Oh, it, it, it is though. It's so, and I weren't going to talk about it. I know a lot of people would be like, "Oh, Lee, you're not supporting all these rights." I just don't see the point. You have a man or a woman. That is it. Not I'm none. You're none, really, <laughs> really. You're none. You're not a man. You're not a woman. Really, you're the only not a... way. The only way you can be none is when you're actually like in the womb and you haven't and it hasn't decided what gender you are yeah but that's then i mean like people yeah, so you nowadays can't be, you can't be known any you can't be known all you can't be known all the way through yeah but cute it's like it's like you phone me up going lee i'm not a man i go what so you having a sex change no then what are you then <laughs> oh, i'm not <laughs> you can't do it I just, oh, I just, I just can't see why people. I think you need to take a bit of a break. <laughs> 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 you would be honest, right? Come on, I mean, literally, we are going to get slagged off, but we're already getting slagged off. Be <laughs> honest. <laughs> be honest. What? Be on, your opinions. Come on. Come on, right? You know what, John? What's your opinion? If right, obviously, I'm not saying. You know, you have to like slag them off. Be your honest opinion. A friend or a family member, whatever, comes up to you and says, "I'm not a man. I'm not a woman. I'm none." What What are you gonna say? I would say, "Show me your bitch." <laughs> <laughs> George is going straight to the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Judge doesn't care, just like, <laughs> show me him then. I'll prove you are. <laughs> oh, John. Oh, I need to have you on here more often. 
that's what me and John just says how it is. That's what this podcast is. Just say it as it is, and he does just comes out. You know, I'm not. Get him down. Right, you're a man. Oh, you know that's what it is. Oh, John, man. You know, you do literally, you do make me laugh, man. I like how you just come out and say it, man. He doesn't care. Everyone else about. Well, I think, nah, John, you're a man. Fucking grow up. That's what it would be. But yeah, so I think so. You just think it literally a man should be a man, a woman should be a woman. Simple as. Whether like, mm-hmm. okay, fair enough. Kieran, what you know? What's your opinion? Same thing. If a family member or a friend came up to you and said, "I'm not a man, I'm not a woman," you know, what would you say? You're not a man or a woman. I'd be like, all right then. So you, so you won't just, so you just be like, you'd just accept them. I'd be like, I'm not a man or a woman. <laughs> you just won't give it. You just won't care. I just try to process it. I'd be like, right, okay. Hmm. I, still I don't. Know. I don't get how you. I don't get how you can't. Because how do you go to the toilet? You know. I literally, I literally think the best answer we've ever had was from Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> put, show me your bits. I'll sort you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, you literally, you know. Most people probably push down to go to the toilet. If you're a woman, do you sit down or what? Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. I just don't see how some people can't be gender. Yeah, I understand some people were you know, born into the wrong body, yeah, understand, a lot of people do feel that if you want to have a sex change to a woman, then you're a woman, you know, you're having a sex change, you know, you have all the hormones and that lot, you know, like the woman would have, you know, that's, that's, you know, you're a woman then, you know, well, I was a man, and you don't piss off, you're a woman now, deal with it, you know. Someone, had, someone, uh, someone actually, uh, another, I think it were at college, someone actually did that, they were. They said they were born into the wrong body, and they got done, and they got everything changed to a woman. And if you look at the person, you won't even believe it's a man. You just be like, "Oh, that's a nice woman." And then when you say, and then they say, "Oh, I used to be a man," you be like, "What?" John, me. can I just say, John, why is everyone saying happy birthday to you? You what? People in the comments are saying happy birthday, John. It's not my birthday. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm like, if I miss something, if I had a blackout or something. <laughs> If I had a blackout. My bloody birthday is gone. Exactly, man. But, well, just take it, John. People being nice, just take it. But, um, but obviously, I, I just don't think it's, you know, I think it's all a lot of rubbish. You have a man or a woman, if you have a sex change into something else, then, you, have, you know, you become that then. But, obviously, I know, and I can't remember the names. I cannot remember his name. There was a there was a person in Scotland. I can't remember if name. Anyone in the comments knows who raped two women and then said he was on a sex change. Should so he, he should get into a, like a female prison. Now that is different. He didn't have a sex change. He just started wearing women's clothes and said he was a woman. Obviously, to get easier sentence. But I literally mean, if you have a sex change, everything, you know, have the, you know, all changed to what you're wanting, then yeah, you will become a woman. Or if you, if you're a woman, you want to become a man. It's all good, yeah. Do a sex change, do what you want, but don't have a change and go. I am non-gender. Rubbish. You are. You are a gender. I do not care. And yes, I, I know a lot of people don't. You know, saying I'm saying wrong, but I just literally think it's a load of rubbish. You want gender or you're not. It's it's just what you do. And you know, I am not saying. You know, even if any of my friends or family come to me, I'm non-gender, but like rubbish. I do what John said. You know, show me, show me your non-gender. You know, it, it it's just rubbish. I just think it's a load of rubbish. You're a man. You're a woman. That's it. You know, you have a sex change, fair enough. You're going to literally have a sex change to a different gender. Oh, John, the doctor's records. That again, John? I said, the show me doctor records. Ah, yeah, doctor records, yeah. They got records. 
the UK government are talking about banning beer. What? Apparently, right. so, someone just said in the comments that the UK government are talking about banning beer. Oh, I don't, I don't like beer anyway. No. I like beer. No. I'm more of a cider person, so do what they want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Well, I mean, obviously, I, I mean, they've got to have their, you know, opinions. Why? You know, why are they, you know, why are they on about banning beer? Your neighbours are trained, though. You know, I mean, if, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I've got literally no opinion on that. I mean, if they all wanted to ban beer... Then, you know, they can, you know, if they, you know, they've got to have a, a reason. It can't just be, oh, you know, we don't like it. That's it. Well, what you don't like taste of. But, but anyway, hey then, John, and I, I know you've got some, what the hell have I done here? Man? I tasted different kind of beers, like, uh, what, different vodkas I was thinking about. Jesus Christ, Liam Keeman. It's strong. We had a taste them with different kind of vodkas and we made them um, cocktails as well. I made the sex on the beach. Uh, I've never had that. I've never I, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not really a big cocktail person, you know. But I mean <sighs> I think a lot of the time the UK government just want to throw the weight around just to like show people who's in power, you know. But back onto what we was the government dickhead. Mm, trust me, we've had a lot of people in the government that are dickheads. Trust me, man. Anyway, go on then, John. So, what's your topics then, my friend? Go on then. There's one little oh, this person said Taiwan for China. So what? So you're breaking up, John? Taiwan? Yeah. Uh, right, China. Mm, I don't really know what to say about that. And there's other one as well. Um, cancel culture. I don't really... I just <laughs> about stuff I don't really know. I'll put nothing about, man. You tell us what you like. What's what's your like? What you were thinking, John? And then I'll try and think of something. Cause I, I like. I just don't really know, man. Um, I don't. I don't know. I haven't got enough time to fucking research. Ah, oh, man. That's what you should do. You should have researched it. Oh, John. One thing I will actually talk about, John, that I know that you have done a lot of videos about, and yeah. I did literally, um, I didn't do any research about it, but I did like hear it on the news, um, about HS2 being delayed. Yeah, um, some parts, um, from Birmingham up to Crewe, mm. being delayed with past and construction, but for rest of land from... Um, down to London, all the way up to East Midlands Parkway, that's all right, but um, other parts, that's been delayed with construction. Thing is, though, they should have known that how much this is going to cost. It's not cheap to build a railway or even, you know, a, like, or, like man, a, man a, structure, a, a train. So they should have literally known that this was going to cost. I mean, it's cost a lot. It really has. And... I literally just think, you know... They even, so they even prepared to build a new train for high-speed too. They uh, already designed for uh, Sheffield Midland Station, but I don't know when, it, when they're going to do that. They scrapped the eastern leg, and they're on about to keep... Uh, to have a uh, link in Sheffield up to Leeds. Why they fucking scrapped it first place? Exactly. Thing is, Dot, right? 
now I'm not trying to like being you know you know horrible. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be horrible. Cause I know like this is something you're interested in, John, right? But for all this money that they are spending on HS2, mm-hmm. how about if they literally spent it on raging? Just... Yeah, oh, yeah, on existing stuff like train drivers want more money. They could have used it on some of this. Or on some yeah, of them. A... You know, now I'm not saying HS2 should never be made. I'm not saying that obviously people do, you know, like want faster transport. But I'm just saying, like, before you start, like, building stuff, make mm-hmm. sure you've got people who know how much it's going to cost. And then. Make sure you've got people who want to run it. Could just say, for instance, HS2 gets done. It, you know, it, it goes where it needs to go, and it doesn't go where, like, you know, you know, it goes where it needs to go. How mm-hmm. come? Well, yeah, it, well, it gets to go, go where it needs to go, and then we've got like train drivers. Well, we're not doing it because we're on strike. Then it's just gonna sit in the terminal and not do all. So you need what I what I think they should do is. Make the people who's going to be working on it happy. Tell them what you know. Do do what they literally want, and then focus on building, you know, trays where people will be happy to work on it, not just be like, no, 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 no. Oh, Metro Mars, like uh, South Yorkshire Mars, all of the car park, and rest of South Yorkshire Mars. D. And a meeting with other metro mayors and talk about delays and existing trains as well. I mean, the transport secretary said that, oh, are we going to sort it out? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I literally think that if you don't want to upgrade the current stuff you're on, make more stuff, make faster trains, super trams, everything. But if you haven't got people to operate them, then nothing's going to mm-hmm. happen. So you need to like do what the, um, you know, what people are actually thinking. You know, like if they want to pay rise. Now, Kieran, you're looking like you have no idea what you're on about, right? It's Kieran, you do know you're muted, by the way. Yeah, I do know. Right. So, mm-hmm. right, right. Right, so to put this in a way you will kind of know, um, just say you were there were a new car being invented. It was costing loads and loads of money, right? But the mm-hmm. people who was going like well, no, well not say car, like bus, was going to cost loads more money, and no one was going to you know, do it. Would you spend that money on getting people to work on it or spend the money on actually building it? Whichever's cheaper. Well, not only cheaper, they're going to cost the same. But like I say, what I'm saying is you need people to work on it and then once you've got like, you know what I mean? Because just if we get this new fast train, right, and then train driver go on strike. When's the actual thing gonna actually be out? You know, you know, collecting passengers. Uh, exactly. Say again, John. Uh, you said when when it f- when finished uh, from London to Birmingham, they f- will finish the rail. Uh, 2020, not 2020, 2039, I'm about that. So it's going to take years and years to build. Why, yeah. tra- why train drivers and all that lot are striking now? I'm just thinking, I'm not, I mean, they should have literally, like, oh, I don't know. I just, I just literally think that keep doing it, but are actually people going to literally, you know, strike? Or are they actually going to use it? 
you know. I mean, because I mean, because I mean, to be honest, tra- trains are going up. You know, the government's not going to settle any um, pay deal for the train drivers. You know, the you know the talks and the like NHS have had, you know they've had talks. You know. <laughs> But the government doesn't seem to be talking to train drivers, so they're knocking their prices up to try and get more money. But it's just not—it's not, not going to work like that, you know. They're like, oh, we'll knock our prices up. If it affect the government? No, it won't. It'll affect you more because you're going to not be able. People are not going to be able to catch the train because it's going to cost fortunes. And then they're just going to go, oh, no one's catching trains. We're going on strike. Well, not your prices, Dan. So more people catch the train. More people will literally get the train. You'll probably get some more money to chuck into HS2 to get it built. Right? But more people be catching it. Then you'll have more money where you can knock the wage up to get more train drivers. But they don't think that. They just think, well, we'll do something that that will annoy everyone. Well, don't annoy us. We're the, you know, the, we're the, like, innocent people in this. You want to target the government. Like, I don't know. If you want to piss the government off, don't pay your taxes. That'll piss them off. They'll definitely come with, they'll definitely come with a plea deal then. It's, I just, it's just so, it's so stupid. It really is so stupid, and you know all this that we are talking about today is just proving how stupid our government is. You know, we are. Well, like I said to earlier on, our prime minister or government is absolutely stupid. He don't know what to do. If we had Boris Johnson or someone else elected now and said, oh, let's do this job and that. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just literally thinking it's just a waste of time. Mm. It literally is a waste of time. And, And that's what I'm just saying. You know, we're in like a cost of living and only people who are actually you know bothered about it. I mean at one stage Boris Johnson was helping us out Rushy doesn't exactly I mean I do believe what he got done for was the right thing to do mm. you know he got done for having a party where no one could see you know their family and he's there in 10 Downing Street you know raving up on that lot so I do believe he, you know, he should. I, I'm not saying he should have got kicked for being the prime minister. You know, he should have done something like, I don't know, like, I can't think like all the to really make him so far half his wage and the bit that they're halving pour into the vaccines for the COVID, that would have annoyed mm-hmm. him more. And then when obviously the other vaccines are already halved, you know, that would have literally pissed him off, right? And yeah. then, you know, but that's like what he should have done. Because, yeah, yeah, he's like, oh, he rolled out loads of vaccines, you know, but he didn't do anything he promised. He didn't do anything he promised. Oh shit! Um, he, he didn't give us. He didn't do what he promised. You know, he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that." Only thing he literally did was roll out a vaccine, and that was it. Nothing else. And I just, I just literally don't think that he should have gone. But yeah, on, on his opinion, John. If mm-hmm. if there was a UK government vote, age got when jo- yeah. when Joris, who the hell's Joris? <laughs> when Joris gonna say that? When if if there was a, a UK government vote where it said it's up to the government if Boris could have stayed in, what would you have done? Mm-hmm. Would you have voted yes or not for him to stay? I would say yes. Oi, Kieran, what was your your opinion? Do you want to just nod or shake your head? 
don't even, I won't even listen to be honest, I was just busy on this. Right, <laughs> do you know, remember Boris Johnson, oh, for God's sakes, what is wrong with me? <laughs> right, you remember, you remember Boris, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he left, didn't he? Obviously. Yeah, if there was a UK vote for him to stay in or leave, what would you have voted? Yeah. Stay. See, everyone is saying stay. Yeah, he was getting shit done, weren't it? Well, I... even, though he, even though he was dragging his feet most of the time, he used to be on TV every single day. Now, when I mean, you you don't even see this one that we've got now. Oh no! Like, I'm going to France. So ideal. What? Don't they have phones in France? Mm-hmm. It's true though. Why has he got to go to France? Why can't he do it over the phone? Isn't no, it? I'm not, going to get, I'm not even going to get into it. You, you can't shake cans over the phone, can you? I don't know. You both could shake the phone at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> now, I understand, but I just literally think a lot of the a lot of this government and the other government are literally... Boris didn't do a lot, but he did more than the other ones. I mean... Bloody hell, Theresa May, Jesus Christ. Fucking do my head. Don't don't even get me started on her. I I'm will not. do Brexit, will you not, love? I will do this. Nah, really, love. My latest lasted longer than you, love. Everyone's latest lasted longer than you, love. You didn't do bug at all. Worst mm. Prime Minister we ever had. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, John, John, have you got any more topics, my friend? No, that's it. Ah, oh, wow. This is—I think this is actually the first live stream we've got through all our topics, and yeah, Kieran, have you got any more topics, or are you more interested on your PlayStation? No, I've got no topics. I'm not even—I'm just watching videos on here while while your guys were talking about. Someone did ask. Someone did ask ages ago, but I didn't read it out. They said, "What game were you playing?" Uh, I've just downloaded a game called Infamous Second Son. Oh, right. what's that about? Well, it's about this bloke who likes causing mischief. Uh, the first mission you actually do, you end up spray painting your brother's billboard. You have to hold your you have to hold your controller sideways and move it like you would use a spray can. I don't know how you can use that as a spray can, like, but <laughs> you have to hold the, you have to hold it sideways, then you have to shake it, and then. And then you have to use your, bu- your trigger button to fire it. And then obviously you get these powers that it require you to be... Yeah, you can either be a villain or a hero with it. Right, so in the comments has just reminded me of something I did want to talk about. But obviously, since we've all been busy, we haven't... Right. Who has a TikTok account here? I'm sure all three of us have got a TikTok account. Right. Um... Yeah, right. So we've all got a TikTok account. Right. Has anyone seen on TikTok, and if you haven't, I am going to be annoyed because I'm going to have to explain it to all, the woman that's apparently Madeline McCann. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Finally, you all lot have actually heard of summer. What's your opinion? I don't believe it. I think she would be a lot older than what she would be. Mm-hmm. I mean, people in her family are saying she's just desperate to get famous, so she's saying that she's Madeleine McCann. Got the same colour eyes, aren't you? Yeah, she, they've got some... I mean, they they had a picture of when... You know, the last picture of Madeleine and when they were long, young, when she was young. They, she doesn't look nothing like her. She's got the same colour eyes, that's probably it, but... I think she'd be a lot older than what she was. I don't know, man. Yeah. Is it birthmark? Does she got? Yeah, she's got something like like I, I don't know if her, her eyes are the same colour, but. No. Sorry, I'm reading. Sorry, sorry, I'm reading the comment. Um. Probably were an NPC then. I thought I just for all. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't believe that she's Madeleine McCann. No, I don't believe her. I mean, there's no... I mean, yeah, she might have similar things to uh, 
look like her, but when you actually compare the pictures side by side, mm-hmm. they're not. They're, they're literally, they're, they're not way near the came. She might be dead, did that little, that young muddling man can. I do, she belo- might- I do believe she's dead. I actually, I, I, I do believe. I mean, from what literally was happening, I mean, I don't know the full story, but apparently her family, well, her mum and dad went out and gave the kids sleeping tablets so they'd sleep. Now, who? I mean, Kieran, be honest. If you were looking after your kid, would you give your kid a sleeping tablet just so you could go out to a restaurant or go out with your mates or whatever? Or would you be like, no, I'm staying in? No, I'd, I'd probably try and take the kid with me. Yeah, exactly. Or you'd stay in, wouldn't you? Yeah, if I went out for a meal, I'd be like, well, maybe there's something, you know, my child will eat. i get some, like, chicken nuggets or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And, and you know, or, and otherwise, or if there was, or if they didn't have anything for kids, because I know a lot of restaurants don't really have. Always have uh, it's mostly fragile for most of the restaurants now. I'd be like, all right, then save a bit of money, stay in. Exactly, exactly. So it's a no-brainer. People who've got kids would rather a go out if they can bring the kids with them, or they'd just stay in if they can. Simple as. Exactly, but they were on holiday. They want to go out with their thing, so they gave their kid a sleeping tablet. I might be wrong, but they gave her one and half, one and a half of a sleeping tablet. Well, to be honest, you shouldn't believe your kid on your. You shouldn't believe in your kid on the on on its own with a sleeping tablet. Because what happens if like, oh, I've given my kid a tablet. I will go out now and have some fun. You know, she won't know. Or he won't know. Or, uh, why was it the kid rolls over and ends up being sick and it's sleeping, chokes on it? Exactly. Obviously, they didn't care. They're like, oh, she's being kidnapped. No, you came back and she was literally dead. And you just thought, oh, we'll say she's being kidnapped. And this, obviously, this like young woman, wherever she is, is literally saying, oh, I'm madly McCann. Well, you're not. Because if you were Madeline McCann, you wouldn't be literally... Well, you wouldn't be saying you're Madeline McCann because you wouldn't even know. You'd just go, oh, I do has gone missing. Oh, bloody hell, I feel sorry for her. And that's it. You know, and why... And the thing is, if, if she is Madeline McCann, why did it took her this long to come out? Well, I, I just don't see why it would have took her. Sorry, man. Hang on. Okay, man, sorry. Um, why has it took her this long to come out? You know, if she is Madeline McCann, why didn't she say it, you know, a lot sooner? Why has it took her to a certain age to say it? Sorry about that, lads. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, why is it that, I mean, I don't believe she's Madeline McCann, but Obviously, Madeline McCann, when she went missing, it was all over the news. You know, it's, it's still kind of being investigated. But why is it that it took this woman so long to come out and say she's Madeline McCann? Why didn't she come out more or less straight away when she actually had thoughts? Or oh, I've just started having thoughts. What, so you're in your teens, you only start having thoughts that you might not be who people are saying you are? I, I, I just literally think. I just literally think that she is like, I think it were Nan. Her Nan says she's just doing it for the fame. And I literally do think she's taking... She might, she might want some money to be rich. Thing is, yeah, she might, have, she might be John. But I just literally think, right, she... It's a bad situation. Mm-hmm. She may, she right, she... Literally, he's taking a bad situation and turning it like to her own advantage. Mm-hmm. And I'm just literally thinking, you know, why, why, you know, why would you try and 
do that, you know. You know, it's a bad situation when any family member goes missing. You know, why would you try and, like, bring it yourself? You know, why say I'm someone just to get, you know, your fame up? You know, I, I just don't see it. <laughs> Sorry, someone just put a comment. <laughs> someone says, are you watching porn? Q and Connie, you're here is. <laughs> it probably is, I don't know. Kieran. <laughs> Kieran. <laughs> so, so, someone says you're watching. Someone said, are you watching porn? No, I'm watching a. A, a similar. A, a similar. I can't speak. <laughs> a simulator of what people should do in a tsunami. I don't know how you'd survive a tsunami. So I'm just watching how people think you'd survive it. Run for your freaking life. That's how you'd survive it. The reason I keep muting is because obviously I don't want to be getting copyright the yeah. for noisy background. Yeah. Mm. But before you mute it again, don't oh, forget it. Ray, do you think that this Madeline McCann is. This woman pretending to be Madeline McCann, do you believe she is? I think she'd be a lot older than what she said. She well, I think she'd be a lot older if she was still alive. Like, but we don't know. It's just best thing to do is try to get DNA from her parents. Well, apparently, mm. that's what she's asked. She's asked for her DNA, but apparently, the police over where she is are saying no. They're not going to give her a DNA test. Well, you just go. Well, you just keep but, trying until the, you know. But I'm sure do. she could just get one herself. Yeah, yeah, just go to doctors, say I've... And it, can you take some blood from exactly. her? And then, you know, you give them the reason why. Or make up some bullshit why they, were, they give them a reason to let them take it. And then they'd somehow, you know, get a parent to do a blood test. Anything that's got DNA on it. Take a swab in you, you know, take swabs anyway. Any, anything that... He would do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not it. I mean, my honest opinion, I literally don't think she is. I, I, I literally don't think she is. I think she's probably heard about this Madeline McCann and she's thinking she's looking similar and she's literally like, oh, I am. I'm Madeline McCann. No, you're not. You're not. You're not Madeline McCann. I mean... I mean, Jonathan, right, do you say, honest opinion, forget what you've heard, you know, Mm -hmm. do you think Madeline McCann is still alive or do you think she's dead? She's dead. Kieran? I think everyone knows the the answer. What I was gonna say. What dead? Yeah, we don't. We don't know. We don't. We, people say she is. People say she's not. She's been missing. She's been missing for years now. Now, when now, please say uh, when someone goes missing for more than twenty four hours, the chance of finding them alive goes down. Right? She has been missing for years. This woman who's saying she's Madeline McCann, no. I, I just don't believe it. Like I said, they could have kept a secret from it and then they could and then they might have let the guard down. She might have you know True. It's not a possibility it's like not you know it's not saying she's not it could be but you know, without her getting DNA, or without if they, if they say no, we can't. You're not allowed to get DNA. That's just making it even more obvious that she is. We can find out the proof. Exactly. Mm. I mean, I have not heard anything about it for a long time. Like I, said, I completely forgot, but like I said, I've just I've been reminded. Like somebody mentioned in the comments, and I'm just like, I just don't believe. That she is. 
Well, wait till she see, see if she knows how to get a DNA without people knowing, then and, and, and then see if she speaks up. You know, when people say open Q and A, what are they on about? Like right now, do a Q and A. Is that what people want? I'm guessing. Well, there were like a lot of people saying open Q and A, open Q and A. They don't sound like an open Q and A, but I won't. I'm not going to do an open Q and A. I'm not. I, you know, Q and A is that kind of thing. Is you know, apparently, apparently someone's behind me. Apparently, for <laughs> nice. I don't believe she's madly my camp. She's literally, she's dead. Her parents killed her, and that is it. They might say, oh, let's kill our daughter with sleeping powers. Then. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think about it. I don't think they gone, oh, we're going to kill a child. I don't think they went like that. Bad parenting. But uh, what it is, it's a case of they wanted to go to a restaurant. They wanted to leave their kids here. And that's it. They, they, let, they didn't want their kids like playing up, game sleeping tablets. The other two passed out. Madeline was taking a bit longer, so they just kept on giving her more to knock her out. But obviously, mm. they gave her too much. How she killed her? And they're like, oh, she was kidnapped, was she now? And there's no evidence. There's no evidence. Well, there's no evidence. Um, they went to a restaurant. <laughs> Sorry, it's just comments. Um, there was no evidence, right, that anyone took her. They went out to a restaurant, which I think was across the road and the same thing as that. And they kept on checking on them. And then mom or dad went checking, she was gone. No evidence, no force entry or all like that. I just don't literally believe any of this. I, I, I don't. And yeah, I just I just literally think that she's making the best. Well, she's not making the best. She's just trying to make herself out to be someone she's not so, so she gets famous. And that's what I did. You know, that's what I literally do think. I, I I literally just think it's a lot of rubbish. Um, I mean, I'm surprised. Only thing that is literally... Wait, hang on. Yeah, someone just put in the comments that, you know, she has similar features, like her eyes look the same. That's what we were saying earlier on. She has some <laughs> things that look similar. But... When she was younger, literally he can't do this after you know after this um after you know after the show, um not sure what might show after the live stream. You can literally Google it. What you did? They don't even look similar when they were younger. They look com they look same, look similar, but they don't look the same. No, I, that's what we were saying. Well, that's what literally we were saying. Why won't they give her a DNA test? To put all this to bed, 